Hello, Mary C. Williams friends. This is Miss Britt again. Today is Wednesday the 22nd, and I'm going to go over this document with you. We are only going to be doing pages 160 and 161. I'm going to go over it, and then you have an I Ready lesson to do today. So let's get started. All right. So today we are going to be describing, right here, describing parts of a whole with fractions. Let's explore the idea. You can use models to help you think about fractions. This right here is a model. That's what it is. It is a model. It is a way of showing a fraction. When you look at this model, the first thing you should think to yourself is how many pieces or how many equal parts are shown in the model? How many equal parts are here? One equal part two equal parts, and three equal parts. They are all equivalent, so they are equal parts. So how many are shown? Three equal parts are shown. Now, how many parts are shaded? That means how many are colored in? How many of the parts are shaded? This section right here, is the only one that is shaded. So how many are shaded? Perfect, one. What? Write the fraction that names the shaded part. When I look at this, what is this fraction? Looking at this model, what's the fraction? Perfect, very easy. There is one part shaded right here, and there are one, two, three parts. The fraction is one, third, one third. Circle the name for this fraction, one half, one third, or one fourth. Perfect, right here we are, one third. Number three, how many equal parts are shown in this model? How many equal parts do we have here? Perfect, we have three equal parts. How many parts are shaded? Well, one, two, three. That's supposed to be a three. Three are shaded, so there are three shaded. Write the fraction that names the shaded parts. Write the fraction that names the shaded parts. If there are three all together and all three are shaded, then the fraction that names that is three thirds. Now I know that if you remember anything from fractions last year, that you know when the numerator, this number on top, and the denominator are the same exact number, then three thirds equals one whole. That's what it equals, one whole. I'm going to use a little bit of cursive. Ha! Ah, and it worked. Good. One whole. But for this part, we're just going to call it three thirds. All right, let's keep going. First, write the unit fraction shown. Now, remember, a unit fraction is a fraction where you have a one on top, and then the denominator is going to be how many ever pieces you have. And we learned yesterday that this thing does not like to do question marks. Ah, but it'll do it like that. So we're gonna write the unit fraction shown and then shade the given number of parts. So when I look at this, the unit fraction is going to be one, which is in this case, the part that is shaded. That's always gonna be the top, one. And then your denominator is going to be how many ever parts there are in the whole. So you have one shaded out of one, two, three, four, out of four parts. So the unit fraction is one fourth, one fourth. Now over here it says shade two parts. 